Hi, David Dodge here for Green Energy Futures. This week we're in Toronto, Ontario. We're at Mars, where they incubate companies and entrepreneurs and help them get started. We're going to talk to Tom Rand. He's with the Mars Clean Tech Fund. They invest in clean technologies across Canada and companies that they hope are going to make it in the future. So let's go find out what Tom's working on and what Mars is all about. So what does it take to be a star in the clean tech sector? Today, we talk to Tom Rand. He's a senior advisor of the Mars Clean Tech Practice and a managing partner with Murray McKaig of the $30 million Ontario-based Mars Clean Tech Fund. So what are they looking for in clean tech projects? Well, the kind of technologies we're really interested in are global game-changing technologies. And I know that sounds like a bit of a, of, a, of a stereotype, but we look for deep intellectual property, patents that change the game and contribute significantly to low carbon infrastructure. Smart grid, energy storage, energy production are the three core targets of us. Okay, Mars Clean Tech looks for a solution that's globally relevant and patent protected. What else? Then we look for a management team. Now, you don't have to have the management team ready to go, but the CTO or the inventor needs to be coachable, needs to understand they play as part of a team. And then we really look for, is the opportunity global or is it local? So we're not interested in sort of a Canadian play, we're interested in global plays. And then we also look at the sector they're in. And again, low carbon infrastructure, I believe is the biggest global market of the 21st century. And if you're playing there and you're globally relevant, you've got a value proposition. And then finally, we don't like technologies that require subsidies or regulatory changes. We like companies that are in the market today, developing value without a price on carbon, without regulatory change. So when those policy pieces come in, it only accelerates that company. The Mars Clean Tech Practice and RAND's Clean Tech Fund support Ontario startup companies with ideas that work in today's market. An example would be Woodland Biofuels. So Woodland Biofuels, who are operating a pilot plant in Sarnia right now, produce ethanol, which is a gasoline replacement, from wood chips. And they will be able to produce ethanol more cheaply than the gasoline it replaces. So from wood chips, they will be the lowest cost fossil fuel provider on the continent. Okay, so cheaper gas could be a game changer, but what else do you have? Well, another example of a game changer would be Morgan Solar. So Morgan Solar has reinvented solar power with an optic that takes all the incident sunlight and drops it onto a very small, very efficient chip. End of the day, they will be in the market in 2014 with the cheapest solar power on the planet. That's a game changer. One of the missing links to a low carbon economy is energy storage. The ability to store intermittent solar or wind energy for later use could dramatically increase the percentage of renewable energy on the grid. In my mind, energy storage is the holy grail of clean tech, to be honest. It hasn't been solved yet. There are companies trying very hard to do that. Uh, Temporal Power in Oakville with a, a spinning flywheel for short-term storage. Hydrostore, underwater compressed air for long-term large-scale storage. These are Ontario companies that if they do what I think they can do, will be facing a massive global market because with storage, you can have clean, abundant, renewable power when the sun isn't shining and the wind isn't blowing. And if you can crack that nut, you have a massive global market. The Mars Clean Tech Practice has three to four full-time staff and a team of volunteer mentors and is currently helping a few hundred clean tech startups. Rand says a select few of those can be classified as strong investment opportunities. Rand is not only a realist, but a capitalist. Well, in a market economy, if you solve a big problem, you get a big reward. That's how it works. And in my mind, in the 21st century, the single most significant problem we face is climate change. And so clean tech solutions that re reduce carbon emissions and provide alternatives to fossil fuels, I think are facing the single largest global market of the 21st century. So it couldn't be bigger. It's, re it's between three and four trillion dollars a year by 2020, according to the International Energy Agency. Mars is a very supportive environment for clean tech entrepreneurs and the Mars Clean Tech Fund fills a gap by providing hard to get startup funds and help breaking down institutional barriers in the electricity system in Ontario and elsewhere. To learn more about Mars and the work they're doing in the clean tech sector, visit our website at greenenergyfutures.ca. There we've got photos, a blog and a podcast. We'd love to hear from you. Drop us a comment on our Facebook page or send us a tweet or email. Thank you for watching. For Green Energy Futures, I'm David Dodge.